So why would you sometimes use a box instead of just using a uh, infiltrate all the time? And that is when uh, when you want dynamic dispatch. Uh, so that is uh, you know um, choosing types at runtime, and there's a bit of a uh, bit of cost at runtime, but you also have some flexibility here. Uh, it's uh, you know up to you how you want to write your code, but uh, this is an example of where it uh, might be uh, useful. And uh, so we are going to uh, generate our first error types. And uh, they're actually, errors are kind of, uh, kind of they, they can take a lot of work in Rust, but um, at their core, um, all you have to do to make something into an error type is you uh, implement error on it, and then you, uh, you tell it uh, what to display, and you also implement uh, debug. And we've, uh, we've implemented uh, both of these before. So we're just going to make these uh, these two these two error types that um, that don't really do anything except generate an error message. So uh, and then this will be uh, be an example for uh, for that. So first, uh, let's make an uh, error type, uh, and we'll call it error one. And uh, we um, and since we have a you know error here, we're going to implement error for error one. And uh, that means that uh, error one is now an error type, as long as we tell it uh, how to display. And so we are going to, uh, you probably remember, when, when you implement uh, display, the, uh, the best way to do it is to go into the library, and you go to display, and then you, uh, you copy, copy, and paste the, there we are. So you copy and paste the, uh, Let's see, do, 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 do. where did it go? Display, display trait. So, you know, display trait, you need uh, you need to tell it how to format, how to uh, display, and you can see uh, it's got the, uh, it's got the, uh, an example there. And uh, so we're just going to uh, copy in the example I already made uh, because it's uh, basically the same thing. So format, uh, use the same signature, and all we're going to say is uh, you got the first error. And so that is, uh, that's our first one. Let's uh, stick them together. Then we can uh, do that, copy and paste. So this next one, we're going to call it error two, uh, implement error for error two, and format display for error two. And then we say you got the second error. So now we have two error types, and um, and uh, they will they will display this for this error, and this for this error. So let's uh, let's go down to uh, so let's make a function. Let's put it up here, and it's going to be called returns errors. And this function is going to take a U8 and uh, depending on what the uh, on what you put in it's going to generate an error or it might not generate an error so that means of course we need a result and uh, so with a result you think what are you going to do when it works and what are you going to do when it doesn't work uh, we would like to uh, get a string back if it works and of course this could be anything but we would uh, we would like to return an error because we have some error types and then, um, so let's start out with uh, impl error, which is not going to work, and um, because uh, this is a uh, this is static impl error static, which means that it's going to compile it, decide on the types, and then and then run uh, the program. So let's uh, anyway, let's continue on with this uh, function. So match input. So let's say if we get a zero, we would like to say, okay, this is an error, we don't like zero, and we're going to say uh, error one. And if we get a, uh, a one, then uh, you know we don't like ones either. So we're going to give an error two, and then anything else, we'll return an okay instead of an error, and uh, this is going to be a string. So it looks fine to me, dot string, to string. And uh, so that is the success type, get a string. And then finally, we can, uh, we can start our main function. 
like that. And we are going to have a uh, vec of u8. So we're going to use this to, uh, to you know, put these in and uh, see what result we get. So we'll start with a zero and we'll tell it that it's a u8. So it's, uh, so it's sure. And then, uh, and then a one and then an 80. And then we'll do a simple for loop and we'll say for number in vec of u8. Then uh, we're going to say match this uh, this thing here. So match uh, returns errors. Uh, match the number, and then uh, you know if it's okay, then uh, what are we going to do? We will get that uh, that input, which is uh, you know this here, um, this string here, and then we will uh, print it and input and then if it's an error then uh, we will have this uh, this error message that uh, that we have here and then uh, we can print that too so there we go message like that and I think that's good so let's see what happens mm -hmm. and that's right uh, line seven it's actually saying you forgot to uh, to put an open close uh, brackets. We're not going to do anything in there, but we're going to uh, open and close, and of course remove the semicolon because uh, open and close by itself functions like a semicolon. And here is the uh, here's the error that I wanted to show you. So it says expected struct error one found struct error two, and uh, that is because let's see line. 25 and 26. So you can see we've been using this uh, impl error. So impl error will, um, so Rust will go through this and uh, and see that, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're choosing to return something, anything that implements error, but because it's, uh, it's static, it's going to uh, start to generate the code and it'll look at uh, at this, and it can see that this is uh, this is error one. So when it's compiling, it can see that this is an error one, and uh, and the next time uh, the next part of the uh, of the match, it, uh, it sees error two, and it can see that this is uh, this is different types, and uh, you know I, uh, a match has to be done on the same type, and uh, this is um, this is not going to work. So um, that's what uh, that's what dynamic uh, dispatch is for over here. So instead of a uh, impl error, you do a uh, box dine error, which means, uh, you know, we're just giving you a box um, and it's going to be a box with an error inside it of it uh, of any type. It's dynamic, so it's going to happen at runtime. And so uh, Rust is not going to know the uh, the actual type when it's compiling, but it's uh, it's also going to work because it's still it still matches this uh, the signature. So then we go box new error two, and I think that should do it. Uh, and there you go. Now it uh, now it's working. So it's using dynamic dispatch just to return a box. And uh, from Rust point of view, this is uh, this is a okay because this uh, it doesn't go into the uh, it doesn't follow the box until it starts running, and then it just has a, a pointer to uh, to the information. It's like a, it's called a, a V table, I think, and then it uh, it pulls it back. And uh, because it's um, you know it's a uh, both of these have error. They're they're both implementing error, and a uh, a trait object is a pointer to the trait, and uh, so it points to the trait. It sees the error trait. It brings it back, and that's why it doesn't have any. Uh, any issue with uh, with with having these uh, these two error types here? Whereas if you have the uh, the impl impl um, error, then uh, then it'll 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 do it statically, and then see that it's two types, and uh, that's why it uh, it didn't work with uh, with impl error. So that um, hopefully that shows that uh, you know boxes can be can be useful, and um, you know impl impl trait is useful and really convenient, but sometimes a box is uh, even a little bit more flexible.